very special story with you. It's a story about a warm, dry stable. A story about a very special night. A story about a very special baby. Welcome to our activity play. A young woman named Mary lived in Galilee. She was engaged to marry a man named Joseph. One day, Angel Gabriel appeared to Mary, saying, Do not be afraid, Mary. God has chosen you to be the mother of his son, Jesus. He will be God's promised king, and his kingdom will never end. The angel told Mary that her cousin Elizabeth was going to have a baby too. He even thought Elizabeth thought that she would never have children. The angel told Mary that anything was possible with God. Mary was confused by the angel's words and wondered what he meant by this, but knew that she was chosen by God and replied, I am the Lord's servant, I will do ever gone to God once. Later that day, when the angel had gone, Mary sat down and thought for a while. Then she decided to go and visit her cousin Elizabeth who was pregnant too. Elizabeth was very pleased to see Mary. They hugged and kissed each other in joy. Elizabeth said, God has blessed you. Your baby will be very special. As soon as I heard your voice, my baby within me jumped with joy. Mary continued to listen to God. She had to say yes to a special job and the baby was growing in her tummy. In those days, the government decided that they should count everybody that lived in the world. So Joseph had to take Mary to his hometown of Bethlehem to register. It took Mary and Joseph a long time to get to Bethlehem as they had to travel by donkey. The road was long and the journey was very tiring, especially for Mary, as she soon was going to have a baby. When they eventually reached Bethlehem, they looked for somewhere to stay the night. They were tired and weary. The town was busy, the inns were full, and there was nowhere that they could stay. Finally, a kind and thoughtful innkeeper offered them a place to stay. He led them to the back of his inns where a warm and dry stable stood. Mary and Joseph were thankful that they had a place to rest. The humble stable among the animals. Mary and Joseph settled down. It was warm, it was dry and it was about to become a very special stable indeed. That night, the most exciting wonderful thing happened. Mary and Jesus had a baby, but it wasn't just a baby, it was a baby Jesus. Messiah, the King of Kings, the special baby who would save the world. The little baby boy slept peacefully in the manger. Mary and Joseph looked over him with love and pride. They were so glad to have this special baby join their family.
wet on clear and crisp night, some shepherds who live near Bethlehem sat high in the hills watching over their sheep. Suddenly there was a bright light shining in the sky above them. This wasn't any bright light. This light was so bright it made them close their eyes. When they opened their eyes to see what the bright light was, a beautiful angel appeared to them with his arms opened wide. The shepherds looked at each other in disbelief but realised the angel must be real because they were all seeing the same thing. The shepherds were very afraid. Then the angel spoke to them, Do not be afraid, I am here to bring you good news. For all people, today in Bethlehem, a special baby has been born. He is the one that will save the world. You'll know the baby because she will be wrapped in clothes and laying in a manger. Suddenly the sky grew even brighter and the angel was joined by a trio of angels who said together, Glory to God and peace to all the people on earth. After they spoke, the angels floated away peacefully and the shepherds knew that something amazing had just happened. The shepherds were amazed. They felt so excited. Did everyone know this news? or just them. They had to go see this baby that the angels were talking about. The shepherds took their sheep and set out on a very special journey, travelling as fast as they could when they arrived in Bethlehem. They found Mary Joseph and baby Jesus in a warm and dry stable. The shepherds fell to their knees when they saw Jesus and they praised him. They were filled with joy that they had found the Lord. One dark and starry night, soon after Jesus was born, some wise men were travelling on their camels. They noticed a very strange and unusual star in the sky above them. They knew that this star meant that the King of the Jews, the one who would save the world, had been born. During the time when Jesus was born, there was a very mean king who ruled the land. His name was King Herod. When King Herod heard the news about the birth of baby Jesus, a newborn king, he got very worried. He called a meeting with all the other important people in the area and asked them where this special baby had been born. People replied in Bethlehem. Then King Herod called the wise men to a secret meeting, found out from them why they saw the star. King Herod told them to go find this child. As soon as you find him, tell me so that I can worship him. After they had spoken to the king, the wise men left to find the baby. They didn't know exactly where to find the special baby, but they knew to follow the new bright star in the sky to the east. They followed the star until it hung right over the very place where Jesus was. When the wise men had finally arrived, in Bethlehem at the warm and dry stable. They were very excited and just like the shepherds, 
felt their hearts full of joy. They bowed, they found the baby Jesus dying in the manger. They bowed down and worshipped him. They presented the gifts that they had brought for baby Jesus. Their gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh were laid before the newborn baby. These were very expensive gifts that fit for a king. of Christmas is so special. It fills our hearts with joy. We hope that your heart has been touched today with the importance of this special season that on Christmas Day in a warm and dry stable, two loving parents, Jesus was born and from that day onwards our lives have been blessed in a very special way. This Christmas we, we are celebrating the birth of the special king.